Hey, it's Matthew David Hurtado, CEO of Complete Essentials and uh, Reverend Matthew David of Allow Ministries. So I want to talk to you today about healing yourself, how to heal yourself with your mind. Now, what do I know about this? Well, I know quite a bit about this, actually. I've had to overcome several things, including being bedridden for nearly two years with Lyme disease, having PTSD, and um, eating disorders, just to name a few. So, I've had to overcome all of them, and I have overcome all of them completely by the grace of God. Now, I want to talk to you about what the mind has to do with it and why I say using your mind and then importantly explain to you how to step into the right framework so that you can use your mind to assist you in your healing process. Now while that said, before we go further, my disclaimer is the statements I'm going to make are not made to uh, heal, prevent, cure, treat, or diagnose a disease. I am not a medical doctor. Although soon I will have a doctorate in the ministry and I'm speaking to you as a minister. So when I speak to you today, I'm speaking to you under the covenant, under the covering of the ministry. Now, here's an example of what's going on in my life right now and I'll tell you how I discern and how I move past things so that you can see through the story. So right now, I have these white patches in the back of my throat. You would say that those could be strep or some sort of infection, right? Well, according to heard something called German New Medicine, and German New Medicine says that the digestive tract from the throat all the way down is about a morsel conflict. So interestingly enough, what's happening in my life now is I've gotten rid of one of my um, homes, the one that I stay in in town, still have the country home, and I'm in transition between finding a new place to reside. I haven't found one that I want to be at yet. And so this has happened to me throughout my life, is that when I feel without a home, it causes a conflict in my psyche. And that conflict in my psyche goes all the way back to childhood. And according to German New Medicine, the unexpected emotional shock that we experience is what we feel. And it triggers itself through the glands, the organs, etc. And when we notice what we call the disease, well, that's the byproduct of the unexpected emotional shock. So, What I have is called a track. If it keeps showing up over and over, it's called a hanging healing or a track. So German New Medicine is a very, very powerful way to look at the mind-body connection. Another way to do this, if you want to look under the hood, if you will, is using reverse speech. So with reverse speech, what I can do is I can talk clearly and sort of slowly so that it plays right and I can record it and play it back in reverse. You can have an app on your phone, etc. And David Oates is the world-renowned expert on reverse speech. So all credit goes to him for that. But these are tools that you can look into to really help you because the voice of the unconscious doesn't lie. And many times I do it in every one of my workshops when I teach a lot of these things is I will put on the reverse speech app and somebody will tell me about a problem in their life and I'll just play it back to them and it's happened every time. Clear as day, I hear the voice of the unconscious speak clearly what is going on. Now 
Now this is a very powerful way. And then when we line it up with German New Medicine, we can see what's happening in the mind. So if we're gonna heal ourselves with our mind, we first wanna know, well, where does the breakdown occur? What is the conflict? Where did we fall from harmony? Where did we lose our sense of peace? Because when the peace is broken, that's where it all begins. So our true intention is to restore the peace. Now, some of the bigger things I can completely appreciate and understand. You know, let's talk about the eating disorders that I had to endure for five and a half years. I had bulimia and anorexia from age 19 to age 24, almost age 25. So I know what the conflicts are. I know why they happened and I know that I walked away from them and I know exactly how I walked away from them. How did I figure this all out? Well, I'm gonna to talk to you about consciousness as being everything in a moment, but I also use the tools within German New Medicine to identify the conflicts and to see what was happening. And so what our mind does, now moving into the consciousness part, because we wanna actually go above the mind. So healing yourself with your mind is really not the way you wanna do it. See, the mind, your human mind, is pretty much rooted in error. The human mind, the word hue, comes from the word coloring, the coloring of the man, which is the five sense fiction reality from a flesh, materialistic mindset. Now, the key component in that that breaks it all down is that the way that you start anything is how you come out of it. So when you go into the thinking process, as in, I'm flawed, something is wrong with me, let's try and fix it. How you start is how you finish. You cannot get there from there. You cannot start from a false premise and root yourself back to perfection or wholeness. And all of this leads us into where I'm at now with the ministry. We talk about starting from the wholeness. This is what the entire scope of the Bible is about. It's about understanding that you are a spiritual being. You never had a physical reality. Quantum physics proves it. Material matter is 99.9999997% empty space. So if it's all empty space, well, what is the only matter that exists? The spoken word. The spoken word became the flesh. The spoken word is the only matter. Now, if we start from a accurate perception of who we are, made in the image and likeness of God, that is wholeness itself, which knows nothing of anything other than its own nature, we can get there quite efficiently. I have many, many talks and many videos on my personal channel on how to use consciousness to restore yourself, and that's exactly what I did, along with supporting the so-called physical body. And I'll tell you a secret about that in just a moment. But my personal channel, I put the link below, has information about that. I also recommend that you read my number one best-selling book, Allow, or my number one international best-selling book, Ask Until It's Given, and those you can obtain online for free, or I suggest you text in at the text number below and have them sent right to your smart device instantly and read them on your phone as you're out and about and just take little chunks at a time. They're designed full of little nuggets of wisdom to help you shift consciousness to reach that consciousness. So, that being said, that's what I wanted to share with you and this is the beginning of a journey hopefully where we can get to know each other better and through my works you will understand that the fruits will become transparent to you as you transform this is all about transformation that's what I've done when I was bedridden and bankrupt with Lyme disease to building seven-figure companies and manifesting perfect health and training like a pro athlete again wisdom did that so my job as minister is to impart wisdom to you and wisdom is the principal thing and wisdom is what sets you free